as bad as it is, the sun's still gonna come up tomorrow, dog. Mm -hmm. The birds still gonna the be chirping. Birds are still gonna chirp. Them. There it is, still gonna keep going. Yeah. Like the traffic still keeps moving. Yeah, like, like no matter how fucked up it is for you. Yeah, that's true. Like life is gonna keep going on, whether you're fucking sad, depressed in the fucking room all day, zero yeah. confidence, scared to talk to fucking girls, whatever it may be. Life is gonna keep going, well, whatever dog. Whatever you're doing yeah. within life. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So you better hop the fuck on and get with it. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Savage Over Average podcast. As you can see, we got the whole squad here. What up? We got Lupe. What's up, guys? Don't be acting all shy. They haven't seen you in a while. I know you probably like you forgot my name. I did. Oh, I shit. think they forgot for a minute. Oh, Everybody's shit. asking me, dog. Oh. <laughs> we got Sunshine. Hello, hello. Sunshine's out today. Out. Fucking hot as fuck outside today. It is hot. And we got my boy Martin. What's up, everyone? Welcome back. You know, we're all here today. We're at the park. Feeling good. You know, nice little breeze under the shade. So. Uh, should be a good one. Yeah, we figure since we got four mics, might as well utilize them. Because before we only had three. Right. Mm -hmm. We only had three people. So now we figure we have four. And we're going to talk today about some confidence. What's up, boy? Keep looking over there. <laughs> That's a fucking drug he's deal he's going on. He's make... staying alert. Yeah, man. You're so, off the clock. So, <laughs> so we're going to talk about confidence. So how are you guys with confidence? Confidence is something that has to be built, bro. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> you have to go over, like, obstacles and failure in order to to gain that confidence. Because let's just say the first time, your, your first time up to bat, let's just do a baseball analogy, you're freaking nervous, right? Because the ball's coming fast, you don't know when to hit, whatnot. So once you experience that, and that could, you can translate that to anything in life, right? Once you experience that, uh, the second time go around, you already you already felt what it felt like to lose or to to not time it correctly, right? So you have a better like a better approach at it. So that builds your confidence because you're like, hold up, I did this last time, yeah. I didn't get it right, but now I, I more I more or less now I know how to do it. Or like building something like an IKEA uh, uh, an IKEA uh, what's you call it furniture yeah right there's so many pieces there's an instruction manual most of us don't read the instruction manual right so we just get right mm -hmm. to it and and then you probably mess up the first one you break they a got piece extra pieces after yeah you break a piece you you got lucky because they have you know extra pieces and stuff but now your second time around you, you're like oh dude i already did this i got this you know what i mean so it, it just uh confidence i think comes with uh like a repeated uh action and just, just like exercise, repeating it. Right, right. You know what I think though? I think confidence is like, it's constantly tested. Mm -hmm. So like you said, somebody's up to bat, like somebody could mm -hmm. be a fucking major league baseball up to bat. They could have been the world series. I don't know how many times and they still could lack confidence, even though it's something they've done a hundred times. Oh yeah. The same with Ikea, like you could put a shitload of different furniture together. Oh, hopefully that phone don't fall. You could put a shitload of furniture together and like confidence is constantly like you have to earn that shit like constantly. Constantly. Yeah. It's like just because my mom's confident doesn't mean she's always gonna be confident in yeah. everything. It's like different. Well, I think there's different, different lessons. Areas. Different lessons too. Different like areas. Life, of life takes you different. Yeah, life takes you different places. Because I could be like confident in working out, but then when it comes to fucking putting my face on YouTube, yeah, that's you know what I mean. Take some some type of confidence, right? Yeah. And the way you do it is by building it up, just doing it, I think, too. Right. Like, like you said, over and over and over. But then, I don't know, I feel like it always, like, it's it's never, you're never, never going to, it's never attained. Yeah. If that, yeah. If that makes sense. Like, yeah. it's, it's, it's never going to be attained. It's always something that you're constantly, like, uh, sharpening, like, like, yeah. like still like a sword or shit. And I, I think that comes because you're, as a person, you always want to be better. I mean, you're always yeah. trying to improve. So you always feel that, you always get that feeling, like, damn, maybe, maybe I'm not going to do it up to my, my standard. You know what I mean? I hope I don't do it below my standard today. So, so maybe that's where that little like feeling of lack of confidence. Cause you're like kind of nervous, kind of scared. But I think that at the same time that, that makes, makes you feel that you, I mean, you alive. are alive. I think it makes you feel alive. Yeah. yeah. You are alive and you're well, doing well, something out of your comfort. Would you say, uh, what, when did you become confident? Are you confident? I'm do pretty you, confident. Do you struggle with it? Uh, I have to, I, I think I'm pretty confident, bro. But I mean, there's obviously there's a lot of areas where I have to just 
just ignore it and just step up to the plate and do it regardless. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because there's always that feeling and like in like those that those butterflies or that that gut feeling where you're like, dang, like I don't want to mess yeah. this up. You know what I mean? But you just got to do it, bro. I, I like to. I learn on the fly on everything I do. I learn on the fly. Like yeah. I, I didn't grow up with a father to teach me like certain things. You know what I mean? So, like, uh, I just had to learn on my on the go, bro. So, but you would say so. Confidence is not something like you really struggle with, then. No, I, I no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. What about you? Yeah, I, uh, not so much now. Probably like growing up, yeah, a little bit here and there. But um, I like think what age? I want to say probably like teenage years a little bit. Probably like I would say that middle school age through kind of high school. I was kind of not really that confident, mostly because I was, you know, bigger. Uh, not like taller, but, you know, fatter before, you know. Yeah, so that that didn't fucking it's help. a little wider. Yeah, yeah, a little wider, you know, so that didn't help out. So um, I think that was one of those things where, like, I guess I wasn't confident in my appearance, you know. Mm. But um, over time, I guess you kind of got to learn how to work with what you got and then... Yeah, I mean, now I feel like I'm a lot more confident than I was, but yeah. I struggle with it. Yeah, like you said, there's stuff, you know, situations where you're like, well, fuck, like YouTube, like you said, sometimes I'll fucking open YouTube and the first fucking thing I see is my fucking face on there from the, from the podcast. I'm like, oh, shit, like, and yeah. that takes getting used to, you know, and like, mm -hmm. that's, you know, something that, um, that's a different type of confidence right there. Happens, you know, see yourself too sometimes. Yeah, even hearing your own voice. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, when I, when, we first heard my, when I first heard my own voice, I'm like, God damn, it just sounds weird. And I think that's normal for, like, almost everybody. When you yeah. first hear your own yeah. voice, you got to get used to it. It's funny because now when I edit, too, it's like nothing. Like, it doesn't even fucking phase me now. Yeah. Just repeating it, doing it over and over again. You know what I mean? Yeah. Repetition. Yeah. I, I had a big, big struggle with confidence, dog. When I was younger, same old being overweight. You know what I mean? Being overweight. Yeah. Kids are fucking bullies and shit. Well, kids, adults, everybody's fucking yeah. mean. You know what I'm saying, dog? And I think we're our biggest fucking critics, you know? Yeah. Like, we point out our own flaws more than anybody else and shit. Yeah, nobody, uh, most of the time, nobody recognizes it. Nobody even notices it. Well, they, notice, you, they notice I was overweight. They probably yeah. noticed this for oh, me, yeah. too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, sometimes, like, when you're feeling underconfident uh, from something, yeah. right, they don't know what you're thinking. You know what I mean? They, they, they think you got it under control. Let's just say you're, you're working on a vehicle. And you have no clue what you're doing, right? You're doing your first oil change, let's just say. Yeah. And you got your mechanic suit on and everything. You got all your tools and stuff, right? Yeah. But you technically don't know what you're doing. But your neighbor's looking at you like, oh, look at him. He, he knows what he's doing. I mean, I'm going to ask him to do my my uh, oil change next time. But then now you're nervous because you're like, damn, I, can't, I don't even know if I'm going to do mine right. You know what I mean? But so I think sometimes, like you said, like we burden ourselves. Yeah. And we, uh, cause we're, we're the only ones, bro. Like we, we're the only ones that could like down talk yourself. Yeah. You can, you can. Well, yeah. You end up playing into that. Yeah. Insecurity. Yeah. I think, uh, I think too, like confidence is like something you literally legit have to earn. Like you can't just be doing shit over and over again. Like say the whole baseball analogy, right? Right. Somebody's just walking up and swinging and swinging and swinging, swinging, missing, missing, missing. Like you're not going to gain confidence. You got to, like, actually try to fucking be better. Okay, what am I doing? Let me swing lower. Mm -hmm. Let me swing higher. Let me stand like this. Let me grip the bat like this. Let me fucking keep my eye on the ball. Whatever it may be with everything, that's, I think, that's where you're going to gain the confidence. Mm -hmm. By getting, like you said, getting better, but not everybody does. They just want shit to get better when they're not trying to get better. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, dog? Yeah. Like, like, some people just think, like, showing up is good enough, but it's like, you have to show up. Like, it's that, what is that? Have you heard uh work? Work smarter, not harder. Okay. And then, uh, and I heard somebody say, like, nah, that's fucking bullshit. Like, that's, the, you got to work smarter and fucking harder when you want to come up ahead and shit. And I'm like, God damn, that's true, dog. Because everybody thinks, like, oh, I'm just going to work smarter. I'm going to do it the easy way, but why not do here. it the easy way and do more of it? Right. Still working hard. You're not breaking your back, but you're doing more of what you said you were going to do. Yeah. And I think people just want the shortcut, dog. And I think, like, building that confidence, like, doing a sports analogy, you know, basketball. The great, the greats, bro. They're gonna miss more shots than what they make. Yeah. But people are gonna remember the ones that they make. What well, he said? Getting I, bit I up over here. <laughs> yeah, it's some I mean, fire ants or something, man. Oh, right. they, they're grounding, dog. <laughs> Better unground yeah, with they, them. They're grounding, dog. Better set boundaries. Ah, <laughs> sheesh. <laughs> Next topic: boundaries. <laughs> we did that one. Oh yeah, no shit. Got one in my shoe. Look at. Uh, Edit that shit out of the podcast. No, nah, that's, that's <laughs> stay on the podcast. Shit, dog. <laughs> oh man. But yeah. They man. said they said uh Michael Jordan, he missed nine thousand shots. Yeah. But nobody talks about that. Right. He's like literally like 
always in the the, the the conversation who's the best basketball player yeah. of all time. Yeah. Dafu said he fucking missed, I think, 26 game-winning shots. Lost over, like, 300. But, like, nobody ever fucking says none of that shit. Yeah. What they talk about is the championships. Right. They remember That's all wins. that fucking matters, dog. You know what I mean? And, like, a good baseball player, their batting average is actually, like, above 300. So they 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 actually strike out more even, than I don't even know that shit, dog. Honestly, I don't even know what the fuck that is. Yes. you know the other shit. Yeah. So know. there's some formula that they use okay. to to get their batting average. So when every time they go up to bat and they say their little name, yeah, 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 there's a batting average. So anything that's like above a 300, it's like he's a phenomenal player. But that means he literally struck out or he he got out a lot more times than what he actually hit. So yeah. even to be a great baseball player, you don't have to hit every, you don't have to, you know, get every single one out the park. Yeah. You just got to work on your craft, um, work on your skills, and and that's how you build confidence, you know, by training. By pushing through yeah. it. Yeah. And training. I think there's a lot of people too that they walk around with like, but see, because you're talking about the oil change, right? I think that some sometimes it's like some people have fake confidence too. It's arrogance. Well, it's is that cocky. what it is? Somebody it's being arrogance. cocky, yeah. Can you talk about arrogance? Yeah, probably. Yeah, but yeah. it's like people think they're 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 confident. They you might think they're confident mm. until pressure hits them, until life hits them, and it's like, God damn, I I'm not I wasn't ready for it. That's why I like anger. I like stressful situations. Yeah. And like when people are emotional, it brings out the real in them, dog. Mm-hmm. Especially the anger and when they're fucking mad. Yeah, when they're mad and probably when they're frustration. Fu- when, they're, when they're frustrated and then when they're fucking like either sad or some shit. Cause then you get to see how that person really is under pressure. Yeah, yeah. How you deal with a certain situation. Because everybody, when, when shit's sunny, dog, everybody could be good. Yeah. But when it's fucked up, that's when you see who, how somebody really is. Uh, yeah. Well, that's when you measure their confidence. Well, that's when you see it. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah no. Like I said, because like I said, a lot of people when it's you know sunshine and rainbow, yeah, it's no, easy to walk around. It's a walk fucking, in the park. Yeah, walking around with your chest up, but when shit hits the fan, is your confidence really there, or was it just a show? Yeah. So I think that's like the where a lot of people. to it. Yeah, and I think that's where a lot of people like see some like they'll see people walking around with their chest up all the time. Oh, they're fucking confident, and that person's like, oh, I want to be like them. But that person that isn't always you know chest fucking puffed up probably has more confidence than the person that's always just fucking like a peacock and shit. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, don't always <laughs> measure your confidence with other people's confidence because everyone's different. Comparing, you know? Yeah, comparing don't compare yourself. Yeah, George. sometimes your confidence is different than someone else's, and some people like it's like their confidence is confuses arrogance sometimes. Yeah. So, I mean, you don't have to be that person. You can be confident and not over boast about it, too, you know? Yeah. Well, but you know, one thing I do I do agree with, though, like posture does play a role in that shit, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I read a book, uh, uh, Gorilla Mindset, and that fool, that's where I first learned it and heard it. I was like, oh, shit, that's true as fuck. He was saying, like, the, the dude, I don't remember his fucking name, Mike something, but Gorilla fucking Mindset. He was saying, like, how, how do you expect to be confident like when you're fucking always looking down, your shoulder, sh- shoulders yeah. shrugging, yeah. you're walking, you're looking Ooh. down. Start paying attention to people, and I was like, you know what? Yeah. I start, I started analyzing myself, dog. I'm like, damn, I'm always looking down when I'm fucking walking. It's because you're taller than everybody yeah, else. Yeah, because like, they say eye contact. That's, that's, that's what I thought. Yeah, that too. And my shoulders are always like this. Yeah. I'm like, man, like that fucking makes sense. Yeah. So I started walking different, dog. Like yeah. try to put my chest out, shoulders back, keep keep my head fucking level, like looking straight. And the crazy thing is, other people start treating you different. Yeah. Other people perceive you different. Like, you don't mm-hmm. realize, like, your body language says more shit yeah. about you than your words yeah. could ever say. Well, even your tone. Like, when you talk, it's, you know, like, what is that? The whole what diaphragm. About, what about my tone? Exactly. <laughs> See? Yeah, exactly. Your tone comes out different. Like, it comes out yeah, more yeah, stern, yeah, yeah, more, yeah, yeah. more, like, there's more to it. Like, as if, like, when you're hunched down or you're, you know, talking, whatever they call it. I don't know. Like, that's why there's a name for it. But, yeah. So, even, like, when you, like, in our speech classes that I've taken in college, I tell you, like, you postures up, you, you know, it's all from right here, from, from your from your abs. Like, you have to be postured, right? Because if you're not postured, right, you don't sound as, you're you know. You're not speaking. That's not coming Yeah, you're, you're, it doesn't travel as far. You yeah. don't sound as confident. So, you have to learn how to posture mm-hmm. yourself. And, I mean, it's not, again, it's not just a confidence thing. It's also, a, like I said, like, a, how you look to people and how you yeah. sound to people. So, that does have a lot to do with it, you know. Just your posture that. I think I think a lot of people, yeah, bro. You're like you could, you, I could see people, and you could see tell when someone's fucking depressed or like anxious. Yeah. By their body language, you know what I mean? Yeah. The way they put their hands, the way they put their feet, the way their eyes look, where they look, where they don't yeah. look. Yeah. They even walk. Huh? You just see them walk, and they don't even say anything. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, like someone could fucking... just sit there, and, and you could just tell, like, mm-hmm. oh, that's not, and, and that's not a confident person. Yeah, the fucking aura comes out. You know, like the, you get that vibe, like, oh shit. Mm-hmm. The same, the same way, yeah, the same way. 
you could tell if somebody's confident without it. Like, that's just how our brains are wired, dog. Like, you just pick up on it. We're just, we're like animals and shit in a way. The same way people could pick up if you're not. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, people could, you're projecting that whether you know it or not. And, and people are going to pick up and people are going to treat you different. And it's fucked up, but that's the way, that's the way of the jungle, dog. That's the way of the world. Yeah. Have you guys seen the movie Hitch? Yeah. yeah. So, you remember when he's on the chalkboard and he's like, uh, listen to what she's saying and then he's like because like 80 or 90 percent of uh, of language and communication is nonverbal. you know what I mean so like you're saying like how you look how you feel it's not really what you're saying but it's like how you're presenting yourself you know what I mean it's that first impression that you're that you're giving people of you yeah so yeah carry yourself a little different like you said you know stand up straight look around and I think it's funny when I cross paths with people, with people, and they like completely act like I they didn't see me. You know what I mean? I'm like, damn, this this person really didn't even look up to like, not even nod or anything. You know what I mean? Or say hello or like whatever. Like, but uh, yeah, I think they're going through they're going through something, right? That's my immediate thing. Like, they must be going through something, or they're having a hard day, mm -hmm. or they they don't know how to communicate with people. There must be an introvert. Like, so most likely he's a, or that person's not successful because the likelihood of, of a person like that being successful is, is very low. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you're looking down, depressed and, and, you know, and not, yeah. like, not, like she was saying earlier, I think eye contact, eye contact yeah. like a big mm -hmm. ass thing. Oh yeah. And you start noticing most people don't fucking, they can't hold it. Yeah. Like, it's like, why are you looking at me like that? What the fuck you mean? I'm talking to you. Right. Where am I supposed to look? Right. Or people, <laughs> people, they get intimidated by it yeah, or they get like it nervous is. or it's just like, yeah, like nobody looks at each other and it's the phones, the social media, texting, all that shit has made it even like, worse. Yeah. Cause there's no yeah. like physical, actual interaction, yeah. communication. So I'll have Siri, done through a phone. Yeah, I'll have Siri hit you up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. With eyes. Yeah. Oh, go ahead, Doc. No, I was going to say, yeah, like, I've had that, like, kind of like that, where you're kind of, like, don't want to make too much eye contact. Like, again, Because you don't want to be staring motherfucker down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but same time, uh, it was one of those things that I learned how to get, like, kind of get over that shit. So, for me, like, one thing I kind of practiced when I was younger was uh, with cashiers. Like, have you noticed a lot of people when they're, they're giving their money to the cashiers or, like, uh, stuff like that, they don't look at them in their eyes. They're kind of like, oh, here... Or like it's a quick contact and back down to the cash. And it's yeah. like, no, here, here's my cash. And they like, just kind of make that eye contact. And that's a good way to practice on having that, you know, eye contact with people or that how to hold the conversation with people. Because, I mean, I don't know. I think like, that's an exercise that well, I kind of did. What they say is like uh, uh, not enough is you're like nervous and insecure. Too much is you're a fucking creep. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, why are you staring? You're a weirdo. Yeah. Why are you fuck you eyeballing me and shit? Yeah. yeah. So there, there's a certain like amount of time that that it is because if it's not enough if you look at somebody and then you look away it's, it sounds it's stupid but, but yeah it is you, you look you come out especially for guys who are trying yeah. to date and shit you look yeah. insecure as fuck but i think it, it, it like draws a line as far as like respect you know what I mean? yeah it's kind of like you, you respect that person that you're having that encounter them. acknowledging right like this the simple as a cashier you know what i mean like you don't want to like not look at them and just give them here you go like just treat them like a dog the waiters you know I mean? and like, shit yeah, like yeah, waitresses yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah treat them like they're like they're your slave you know what i mean like you're better than them like look well, at them say hello serve you yeah yeah, yeah yeah say hello how you doing thank you i appreciate you, you know that's I mean? just crazy Have a bro good day. That nobody has manners these days right yeah like that's just like you got manners you're already like above the average <laughs> Yeah. People yeah. don't know. People don't know how to say thank you or we'll hold the door for somebody, and they'll yeah. just walk out and not even say thank you. Oh man! I'm like, can we do that again so I can let it go in front of you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But see, you can't, you can't let that person stop you from doing it to the next person. No, I'll still do it, but I'm just in my head. Yeah, I don't yeah. say nothing, but in my head is what I'm thinking. I'll like, say something. I'll be like, would, oh yeah, I have, yeah, I have done that. I have said. But that. I won't say like, like he said to the tones. I won't be like, you're welcome. Yeah, no, I'll I be don't like, say it rude. I'll I just let it be known like, you're welcome. Like, yeah. Let it be known, like, yeah, you're welcome. I held the, I held the door for you. Like, hey, asshole, I held the fucking door open for you. <laughs> Manners, hello. In yeah. case you didn't see me here, I'm not a fucking a doorman and Even shit. Even kids do it. Even teenagers or young kids in their 20s, like, if you hold the door for them, they don't. They walk out like, I'm like, okay, hello. Yeah. Bro, so I haven't seen you in a couple weeks and stuff. How has your confidence grown from, you know, after now you have your baby? Like, do you have, like... 
just I don't know. Is there anything you want to touch on that? Has like changed? as far as has, has your confidence changed as a man? Like now you're you're at a whole nother level of what a lot of younger. You know what I mean? Kind of you're you're for, you're in another level as far as like me and Robert. Chapter of your at this life. Point. You're you're a different chapter of your yeah. life. Yeah. You're, you're a young man with a kid now. I think. No, well, not young. He's kind of fucking. He's not young. Younger anymore. than your ass. He just looks like it. He's younger than you. He just looks like you. It. Anyways, younger than me for sure. <laughs> not not by much, not by much. Uh-huh. You see, kissing ass right here. So, anyways, nah. So, no shame. No <laughs> shame. Hey man, I trying to get fucked up out here. In the podcast on live and shit. Nah. So, um, I think for the most part, I think it's. I I still feel like I'm confident, but I feel like I want to show, um, my kid on how to be confident themselves. You know, like that. Um, how they need to kind of talk. How they should. Uh, that whole eye contact thing, like kind of those points where you like, thank you, no thank you, yeah, please. but not You're be scared welcome. of where they put their boundaries and stuff, yeah. and kind of say, hey, nah, like that confidence to say no, that confidence to say yes, that confidence to you know take the next step to whatever they need to take. I think that's where um, I'm kind of at, where the whole confidence thing is going at right now, where I want to be able to say, well, hey, I have this confidence. Let me show you how to how how you should be confident about stuff, about situations that even. Confidence in taking that shot that, like you said, those thousand shots you take. You know what I'm saying? You got even if you miss, you're gonna make that. You got you're gonna make those shots that mm-hmm. you know. I want you gonna make that one shot of a thousand, but it's gonna be that fucking game shot. So yeah. you gotta learn how to take it, and it's that's where I feel like I'm at right now with the confidence, like just showing her how to. I know she's so young, but she's I mean, a baby. So like as far as where, uh-huh. like were you? Um, cor- of course you probably were. I'm thinking. Like most people, most people, it's normal before or while they're waiting for the baby to get here, they're nervous because they don't know what to expect. It's the unknown. Right. Like, how am I going to, you know what I mean? You're yeah, nervous about the whole routine. Yeah, I don't, no, I don't know what you mean. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, just, no, but he does. I know. I'm just joking. So, like, as far as I'm assuming, like, most average people are nervous, you know, having a, there's a part, not saying you're a wreck, but, like, at some point, you're a little nervous, like, well, how's it going to be? Do we make sure we got everything? Is this in? Is this place? Making sure everything, the house, the room, everything's in order for her. You know what I mean? Yeah. Making sure you guys got everything. Car seat, you know what? Everything's exactly. figured out. How do we work the car seat? You know what exactly. I mean? Put it in the car. YouTube. Practice. YouTube. No, but I'm saying, <laughs> figuring out, you don't, you would have never thought of that, though. She would have never, you guys would have never had a baby. Yeah, no, no. I'll be serious about the YouTube part, like, though. Like, so now, like, are you still nervous, though, now that she's here? Oh, yeah, every day. Every day. Because every day is different. Yeah. Every day, it's like that whole, uh, they're doing something new every day. So mm-hmm. you, you're learning something new every day, too, whether you see it or not. Yeah. Like, those little baby steps, like, you know, that they're, t- they're taking or, like, uh, when they start rolling over, which again, it's not stuff I thought about, but now it's like when they start finally rolling over, you got to watch mm-hmm. out they don't fucking fall on their face. So yeah, it's, I mean, it's a little nerve. He fell. He's all right. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, let's just moving on. So yeah, I think it's, um, there's still a little nerve wracking, but it's part, like, like he told me, everybody fucking, everybody at some point goes through it. That's a, a, oh, yeah. a parent. It's all learning. Yeah, it's all learning. And like, I'm not the first person that goes through it and I won't be the last. I think that's mm-hmm. what you told me. Kind of like some, yeah, so that's what so that's true. So, um, yeah, just trying Your to just confidence is building like every day you're with her, yeah, just learning out everything, mm-hmm. trying to make sure that I know, like, I know how to respond to situ- certain like situations or stuff like that. Or, I mean, it's even it's a confident booster, booster when you like overtake a certain challenge with, with, with like your kid or something, you know, like, um, it's gonna sound dumb, but like putting them to sleep. Yeah, that's like what I'm that's, it's a big like, fucking like it's you're a, like yes I do yeah that. like fuck yeah, yeah like um like, yeah we had a good night yeah I couldn't put <laughs> or you, like even like oh they couldn't go to sleep and then you got them to go to sleep yeah and you learn something new you're like oh maybe this works for them now so yeah that, that's that's I guess one thing that's changed um and yeah I mean I'm still learning I'm still you know yeah what about like your confidence from the first time you had to strap up the car seat or the first time you had to change the diaper versus now now it's like. I'm assuming you just jump in the car, you do it easily. I'm assuming yeah. now you just, you know, you can wipe that that butt. Like, yeah. Well, I think I think in one of the podcasts we talked about where like I was fucking nervous as shit driving home. Yeah. Like I was nervous as shit driving home because like I was going the slowest I've ever gone in my life on the freeway. People were fucking honking at me and like get the fuck out of the way. Now I, drive, I still drive. My no. skirt, skirt. No, hell no. So still drive normal. Hang on, baby girl. <laughs> still drive no, normal, normal, and like and and like making sure that you know I'm aware of other people's driving. But I feel more comfortable now. And she's a little older. Not a lot older, but, you know, a little older now. So, 
even putting her in the in the, the practice. Fresh. Yeah, the practice putting the car seat and taking it out. It's a little bit easier. Yeah. Um, like I said, the first time that I was doing when I got the car seat, I was like, I was on YouTube trying to find out. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, how do you put this shit in? Like, oh shit, what if I dropped the fucking baby sideways or something? Like, imagine you know? back in the day, they didn't even have YouTube. Yeah. So like I said, it's, well, yeah, fucking YouTube's a tool, or you know, if you want to use it as a I tool. Mean, car seat's probably fucking simple there too, though. Back then, they didn't have so many fucking options. Yeah, because you know they even have car seats. I mean, strollers that the car seat, you just take the car seat out of the that's car and it connects has. to the... Yeah, that's me. That's well, I didn't know that. No, shit. that's what I'm saying. I never even knew those existed. Yeah. And I'm like, what the hell? How come they didn't have this? Those are <laughs> my kids. Like, we had to literally take everything, uh, they take the baby out, and we got to hold through a whole other system out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then get you back comfortable into the system in the car. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, and that's what, what I was... Like I said, when I was YouTubing it, that's what it, the thing that I was looking at, how to fucking fold the seat, turn it into the stroller, put it back without, yeah. you know, flipping the kid backwards or something. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think that's... uh, Yeah, the confidence on, and stuff like that is slowly growing and, you know, it's still changing. Still nervous, though, here and there. Um, especially when they're, like, they're crying because you don't know why they're crying. Yeah. You know, you assume because they're hungry or, you know, because they need or a diaper you've tried change. everything and they're still crying. Yeah, and sometimes it's not even you. Sometimes they just don't want you. Yeah. <laughs> you got I got you got to learn that too and sometimes see, they just don't want you right now they want their mom or you know who, someone else to carry them yeah, or sometimes that's the trick yeah. yeah sometimes that's the trick and I think a lot of people get all like beat down and the like, baby doesn't want she them doesn't want me. Yeah. yeah and it's like oh she not maybe not right now maybe later maybe she just wanted to hang out with her grandpa or grandma or whatever yeah but that's happened where I'm like she won't stop crying like she, what, what's going on and I fed her changed her whatever and then I handed her to Angie and she'll and the baby will just fall asleep I'm like what did you do she's like nothing like, what did you do? Nothing. Then it's like, oh, okay. Well, you got to learn that that's not you. Like, don't let that bring your confidence down as a person yeah. or a parent, you know? So, I don't know. But, yeah, kind of yeah, answer your question. Point. I think I think it's important, too, like, just to be a person, to have your mindset where it just, you just want to have, you just want to be a welcoming to challenges. Shit. Mm -hmm. You want to mm -hmm. seek them out. That's what I do. Yeah. You want to seek them out because, like, that is a whole, like, big thing in itself. But it's kind of no different than anything else in a sense because there's a lot of there's a lot of job sports and 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 uh situations where you gotta learn new techniques you gotta learn new programs new techniques new fucking except someone's life doesn't depend on you but yeah huh yeah someone's life isn't depending on you learning those techniques it can yeah somebody in the fucking military thousands hundreds of lives could depend on them fucking learning that have you heard that right. saying where is they say fell fast fell often and fell forward no no so it's, it's it's a saying those those three right there yeah so fell fast because the faster you fail the the, the the faster you're gonna learn yeah right fall for, fell forward that way you can see what hits you yeah, i mean you can see what knocked you down and then you're able to like analyze and, and uh restructure your i mean your your goal bouts the next time around but yeah and, and then do it often because then you you know what i mean it's a challenge yeah i think like you just seek them out because like it's a it's a whole challenge and there's there's always gonna be challenges around yeah you could be a parent that's like fuck i don't know how i'm gonna do this but i'm gonna figure it out one situation and another parent have the same situation and just have a fucking whole breakdown yeah. i ain't going to the yeah. store because i oh, can't yeah. do the fucking thing i can't put the car seat in so it's like what the fuck are you talking about like <laughs> people have been doing this shit for years you ain't fucking special your kid's not special yeah the car seat a whole bunch of people fucking had it like this is nothing new Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You just got to be a person that's like, okay, I got this shit. And that's where the confidence comes in because you've overcame certain challenges. You've done certain things already. You've, you've, uh, was it seeked out? Yeah. Fucking challenges, bro. Yeah. And you know, that's where I think that's where the confidence comes from. Cause like after I did that, that fucking marathon, I had a shitload of fucking confidence, bro. That shit was through the fucking roof for that moment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause you're, you're, grow you're growing. You're growing. Cause bro. I'm like, God damn, I fucking did that. This yeah. podcast. Yeah. Every time it fucking hits 50 fucking subscribers, like, oh, shit, a little bit more confident, 100. Or we get some reviews. Or we got the outside mics. Now we're doing it fucking different. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that gains confidence, too. So it's like everything you got to adapt to the fucking it's, the and it's dog. And it's innovation. You know what I mean? Kind of like they didn't have those car seats when you, yeah. were, when you were out. Like, So they innovated. And now we're innovating, too. You know what I mean? I mean, we didn't make the mics or anything. But yeah. I'm saying, like, we're, we're adapting and we're changing. Yeah, you you got to be with, welcoming to all yeah. those changes. You're yeah. progressing. You're progressing. Yeah. yeah, the worst thing you could do is stay stagnant. Cause yeah. the world's the world's gonna keep moving no yeah. matter what. So if you're fucking stay stagnant, you're already behind. Yeah. And I had to learn that shit. That shit was fucking tough as fuck, bro. Is there was there a time that uh, other than your weight loss? I mean, other than when you were overweight, that you felt like you had lost your confidence? 
When, what do you mean? Or even, even throughout, even after you did your weight loss, right? Right now that you've been on your weight loss journey. Uh -huh. um, is there any moment or any, any situation that you like, even if it was for a minute, bro, maybe it wasn't a whole month or a week or I mean, but maybe a day that you felt you're like, damn, this thing's like, I'm kind of losing my confidence, like trying to do this. Like every day, dog. Yeah. Like he said, like, like, even though I'm not in that parent situation or, or yeah. you know what I mean? But it's still certain situations where I lose fucking confidence. That's yeah. why I said it. it's like, it's never obtained. You know what I'm saying? Because people have the misconception that, oh, I lost 100 pounds. That shit was yeah. fucking easy. That shit was linear. That shit was constant. Like, yeah. nah, bro, that shit was up and down. I fucking gained weight. I missed fucking days. Holidays came. I fucking put on 15 pounds again. Yeah. Like, that shit's a roller coaster, dog. Mm -hmm. And you think if you lose fucking 30 pounds and then you go put on fucking 15, you think I'm going to have the same fucking confidence? Mm -hmm. No. I'm just like everybody else. The only difference is I didn't give up. That's yeah, the, but, that's the only fucking difference. Yeah. But other than your weight easing, did you have any struggle like, with or any, any other situation? Yeah. Any like a fucking breakup yeah. or some shit? Or, breakup or like no? A there's passing. been times uh, I could say there's been times where like. Let's see, Mama, Maybe, bring them out. Because no. I don't got a good memory. Let's see if you agree me. with me or not. <laughs> no. no, let's see if let's you go. agree with me or not. But being comfortable, being able to go up to a female and ask for her number. Or say hi or give her a compliment, like a total stranger. A total stranger to go up to somebody and be like, you know, you know what I mean? Like, hey, I was just wondering, you know what I mean? Yeah. Are you single? Yeah. Can I have your number? And I remember, like, uh, there was a time where like, you, you were learning to that confidence to, you know what I mean? Yeah. To do those things. And I would be like, yeah, go do it. Like, worst thing she could say is no. Like, you move I on. Mean, I don't remember you saying that, but yeah. I'm yeah, sure move, move on. Like, just move on. Like, who? Okay, she says no, or if she's taken or whatever, just next. Yeah. Like, you don't know if you don't come out of your comfort zone to do that. You know what I mean? No, I don't remember you telling me any advice. Yeah. But, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I do remember that. And mm -hmm. I think, I think any male, any young man at one point or another struggles with that. Sooner or later, they struggle, they struggle with fucking females, whether it's in element weapon. No, I got, I oh, baby. Whether it's in elementary, whether it's in fucking middle school, high school, after high school. Like sooner or later, I think they, that's like a that's like a challenge that has to be overcame. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That that's one of the things that's gonna build you like as a young man and shit. Yeah, I, I definitely struggle with that. And like you said, what's up? Uh, I was gonna say I think that's one of the the biggest probably like uh confidence fucking breakers for 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 males and shit. Honest, like confident breakers and confident boosters. Yeah, whether you get rejected or you get uh I guess approved whatever uh, from a female. <laughs> yeah, you I get, think you get, you get accepted. Chance, you yeah, get that's like, yeah, that's like a like that's like a nature thing right there too. Like yeah, like selective. Yeah, that's you got, so yeah. it's you can go up to them and you you know you, they turn you down and I see it all the time. People are like fucking fucking worlds break apart. Yeah. But then they say yes and it's a, they are, they're a whole different fucking person. So I think that's. Being rejected by you know a, a female is like a big uh, for for a guy it's a big uh, it's a big thing. What it makes you or breaks your confidence? Sometimes. Yeah, shatter it. Yeah, it yeah, shatter like a motherfucker. Yeah, it's, sometimes shit. I think it's more it's bigger than a fucking not getting a fucking job or something you were trying to get. Like I think that's more of more of a serious because then it makes you question yourself. Like yeah. was it me? Or is it like is it because I'm fucking overweight? Is it because I'm fucking this? All your insecurities. Yeah, all your insecurities yeah. fucking come out. Or, or which one it is? Yeah, or like said, or they say, yeah, all, say, yeah, all of a sudden you're fucking shit. I'm the fucking man. I'm fucking, uh, you know, you what walk yeah. you walk right. different. That's right. You walk like that peacock and shit. Yeah, <laughs> you know, flaunting those imaginary feathers, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got, I got, I got it. it. Yeah, <laughs> so I think that's one of those. Uh, yeah, that's I, like think, a, I think any man or any young, like sooner or later, they're gonna. That's one thing that most, I think, the majority. You know, maybe some it does come fucking natural, right? Some of them are just yeah. good with the ladies. Fucking good looking, fucking tall and shit, blonde, yeah, probably, yeah. Yeah. Blonde, uh, blue eyes. Yeah, not yeah. for me. For me, I, nice yeah, for me, I did struggle with that shit through, like, school. Through middle school and high school, too. It wasn't towards, like, the end, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, dog. And I don't think female or uh, women can relate the same way as guys can with that. Like, being rejected or not. They think they can. But they, but they can't. They but, think they yeah. can. Yeah, yeah. Oh, some, I don't know, I don't know. Do you think... That you can relate? No. No, right? Yeah, because most females I'll admit it, no. most females don't do they go up to a guy and hey to yeah. get number and shit. Like, no, and I've seen females go up to a guy. I've seen that happen. And I would be like, damn, like that's pretty dope. Like I I, I wouldn't I in my head I admire that. Like, damn, that's she's pretty confident. Like she wasn't like you know tossing herself. It was with class. Yeah. And and I'm looking at her like, damn, that's that's pretty dope. That's pretty badass that she could do that. Like, like I admired that from far away. And I'm just like, damn, like whether she got turned down or not, like it was just the point that she was able to do that. Yeah. Me personally, yeah, no, I would never do that.
Yeah. I'll never go up to a guy and be like, hey, can I get your number? Like, no. Is it, a, is it like a confidence thing or is it just because you don't feel that that's how it should be? You feel like the guy should approach yeah, you? Yeah, I just, I'm more old school. I just feel like, yeah. The guy needs to approach should, you. Yeah, the guy sh- should. Yeah, see, and like I said, that's why I think, yeah, and that's why, like I said, I think most uh, women won't understand the whole yeah. guy thing, like making the first move, that whole getting rejected or not getting rejected or stuff like that. So, but and nowadays it's different. I think females do have their way, though, of showing that they're interested. They do, but what I'm saying is, is that usually the guy has to go out, like, yeah. you know, build the confidence. First of all, you got to build the build confidence the to go up, to get there. especially yeah. if you know that you're not, you know, like you said, fucking tall, bl- blonde, blue eyes, whatever. You know, you're not that. So then you have to build the confidence to go up to the person and tell them, hey, you know, like you're, I'm interested or your number or whatever. And then you still have to wait for the fucking yes or no. And then it's like, oh no, I'm not interested. And then it's like, poof. You it took you had to fucking build the confidence and then you got fucking poof. Like, fuck. Fuck right. yeah, like a fucking balloon and shit just popped you and shit. So yeah. I think it's that's one of those things where and then some people just get stuck on that shit. Fucking single yeah. for life after that. Some I'm gonna people, find nobody and I'm not yeah, gonna fucking no, have no nobody one. Nobody loves me. Nobody yeah, loves yeah, me yeah, and that, that was yeah, the one. The victim and, then, and yeah. Like that's not the only person on the face of this world. But for except for some people, once that 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 confidence, that balloon of confidence is like popped that's it it doesn't become deflated it becomes pop like just, that's it yeah. that's why i said dog like i'll tell like my brothers or my little cousins when they're younger like hey just ask out girls just go talk to them just get comfortable talking yeah. to them confident i mean comfortable asking them out even you don't even gotta ask them out just go fucking talk to them mm. just yeah. do a fucking just conversation and shit that. Yeah. you know what i mean because then they build the confidence to go ask them like why not just fucking talk to them yeah yeah you know what I mean? Just go talk to them and don't even ask them because then you put you put like a you emphasize on it. You build it up in your own mind. Now all of my confidence is is weighing in on this fucking question whether it's yes or no. Yeah. Instead of just going in and like, oh, I'm gonna go talk to her, go see what she's doing. Yeah. Sometimes we play name, whatever the fuck. Sometimes it is. we play like our own scary movie in our heads. You know what I mean? It's like, damn, like the freaking. Get yourself you all make, you make a whole right, story, right, dog. Right, that, that, right. <laughs> right. Get yourself all stressed out. And, and, and then she leaves. She leaves the area before you even get to talk to her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you turn around, she's gone. Right when you gain like, the confidence, yeah. right? she's, she's and then all of a sudden she leaves, and you're like, ah, I was about to do it too, man. Uh-huh. I was fucking. Uh-huh. I was about good. to go hit her up, man. Sounds good. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think when I uh, was in college, I think I, I felt like I lost confidence, and I think it was because due to lack of money not not being from a family with money that was able to support me through me just strictly going to college and living at home with parents you know what i mean like um because i was going to crafton hills I, I was in ukaipa i was in the fire academy i was in the fire program and it was you know mainly a lot of a lot of whites and caucasian kids you know what i mean that, that they had the parents helping them out, dishing them out. Like they had phones, they had cars and they, and they had no jobs. You know what I mean? So, uh, they were, I felt like I lost my confidence there because I'm like, how am I going to like beat these kids when I have a job? I can barely have, I barely have time to study. I'm getting low grades. They got good grades. They live with parents. They got money. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just mm-hmm. like playing this whole scene in my head. I'm like, damn, they got the upper hand. Like I, I let I let that dominate me, bro. In yeah, a way, you got focused on that instead of being the opposite. Instead of being like letting like, that drive you. Instead yeah. of being like, I got confidence that I'm gonna outwork these fools, or I'm gonna yeah. outperform them. Yeah, I'm gonna out get better scores than them, and they got all this shit. Right, right. Yeah, that's yeah. how I see it. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, like, right. I'm gonna prove that I can do it, and I don't have everything. Yeah. Like all the advantages that they yeah. have. Now looking back at it, yeah, you're right. You know? Like, you know what I mean? But I, in I, that moment, yeah, that's in that not moment, how you feel. That moment, I. I, I, I I can recall, man, just kind yeah. of losing confidence. I'm like, damn, I'm working my ass off. I'm barely making a little bit of money. Uh, I had a full-time job trying to hit school. And and then so I passed my couple classes of, you know, Fire 101, Fire 102, EMT class. The next thing was Fire Academy. And, and the Fire Academy is like having a full-time job and not getting paid for it. And it was like a six, six to eight-month, like, course. And uh, I just, that's where I dropped out. I'm like, damn, I can't, I can't afford it. I can't afford not having a job. So, uh, bye bye this career that, you know what I mean? That I wanted to do. And, uh, it, it left me like a sour, like a sour, bitter taste in my mouth. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm like, damn, I had to like, like in a way, let go of my dream that I had at that moment. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I felt like that <laughs> defeated, I felt defeated, bro. So it made me lose confidence. And I'm like, yeah, like college is not for me. So then so like when did you gain it back or how did you gain it back or how okay. long? Uh, that's, that's a good question. I, after that, I actually ended up 
moving out to Colorado. <laughs> Right between that and that, that time frame, I went to Colorado in a way, kind of seeking revenge, seeking a new, like a new me. You know what I mean? Like a new. Nobody knows me over here. Like let me let me try to start do my from thing. scratch. Right. Um, but then I, fast forward to that, I came back and got into sales. I well, actually, when I came back, I got into furniture delivery. But then after that, like being in that, like I knew I needed more. I was like, I need more, and I was like, how am I going to get more? I'm like sales i have to do sales like some somewhere sales you know what i mean like every time i see movies or you know what i mean or shows like the percentage in sales is making the most money they got the nicer cars they got this that right uh so that's when i, I transitioned from furniture delivery to selling furniture so that's how i transitioned into car sales and when i got into car sales bro like i just had like a lot of confidence in myself and uh, we're making money. I was young, you know what I mean? So it just, it, I think that helped a lot because I, I went from no money to making some money and being young and, uh, I just got good at it, bro. So, but, but do you think like, say, cause you said from the money, right? So say, yeah. what if you would have like, I don't know, but like then if you're stripped of the money or the, the salesman, yeah. then does that strip you of your confidence again? Like, can it? Oh, like what right it? now. Like, are you worried about like that? Like right now, if anything it, was to it, happen. It can and it did. Yeah. It, I, it can and it did. Because when I got my DUI back in 2017, yeah. all that got stripped away from me. Yeah. You know what I mean? I got I got let go from my job. Now I, like, I had no money now, you know what I mean? To pay all the stuff that I did yeah. have. And uh, so, yeah, that, that was another downfall. That was, and, and life should be... I don't know. I don't know if it should be, but I think life is a roller coaster. You know what I mean? Mm. You're going to have those ups and downs, ups and downs, and you got to you got to figure out how you react to it, right? Like you said, like show me your your bad day or show me like a a stressful day for you and and let me see how you react and that's that's your character. What you really made yeah, of. Right. So, um when it happened again, I had the DUI, I uh, I lost my job and my life my feelings, like I was in a way like depressed. You know what I mean? Like I hit a little form of de depression where I even let go of some, some uh, credit cards that I had. So it made my credit score go down. You know what I mean? So I had really, really good credit score. And then now I'm like, no money, no credit score. You know what I mean? Kind of like just taking a- uh, just, just digging a hole. Right. And I was, in a way I was okay with it. I'm like, it's all right. Like, um, it's just the phase that I'm going through. And I was like, rich people uh, have gone through bankruptcies. Rich people have gone through this. You know what I mean? I'm just thinking like, like Donald Trump, for example, he's, how many bankruptcy has he done? I think like three, four, five, maybe. Right. And he's still super rich. He's still, you know what I mean? Like this, you know, ex-president now, but that was before the presidency. And, uh, but yeah, man, uh, so I, I did lose that confidence when when that was taken away from me. Yeah. But now I have a backup plan. Now I have plan B's, plan C's, plan D's. I have ideas, you know what I mean? Like so I think it, it took all that learning, all that defeat to really like see the difference now. And that's why, you know what I mean, I I do a uh, home-based business and I'm in medical sales, so I'm a distributor. And no one could take that away from me. You know what I mean? Like if I lose my, my car sales job, which I actually do want to lose at one point, cause that's not what I want to be doing forever. Yeah. Cause it takes up a lot of my time. Um, that's why I got into this medical salesman and you know, I work on my own time, on my own pace. And, but I think that shit could be taken away though too. No. Uh, well, you, you know, know what? Always a anything could be taken yeah. away. Right. But ever since I seen COVID dog. Yeah. Ain't nothing that will surprise me, like, whatever the mm -hmm. fuck, the laws yeah. they pass, whatever fucking things they come up with, yeah. like, that shit's just crazy. That can change real yeah. quick. But I'll tell you what they can't take is your skills and your knowledge. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if you build the, the right skills for a certain avenue. Like, like salesmen's always going to yeah. be, people always going to be buying shit. Right. Yeah. So just build up a skill set, you know what I mean? And it could be anything. Like, let's just say you work for an air conditioning company, like, learn how to do it and then maybe make your own company. You know what I mean? Yeah. Make it profitable to the point where now you have workers and then use that money that you're making into an investment. You know what I mean? Maybe buy real estate. Now you have the real estate working for you, generating money for you. So if that, if you do lose that company, now you got real estate to lean on. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I, I think at the end of the day, I think we all should, you know, look into that, uh, real estate, uh, even stuff that I haven't gotten into yet, but like stocks and bonds and, 
and Roth IRAs and you know, I mean all that stuff, man. Because you never know, anything could be stripped away. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, life insurance, like having having that. You know I mean, having that. Uh, yeah. That cushion. Like, like I said it too. Like um, I think in one of the other podcasts, like even even your health could be stripped from you. You yeah. have all the fucking money in the world. Yeah. Oh yeah. But your fucking health, you could lose your fucking. I always, I don't know. I'm weird. I think about this shit. I'm like, what the fuck, like. I could lose a fucking leg. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, dog? Yeah. Like, I think I think about that shit. Like, anything could be. I was like, what anything would I do? Happen. Like, I promote this lifestyle, savage. I promote like this mindset. I like to be go get after it, running. But I'm like, yeah, what if I lost a fucking leg or some shit? Are you still a savage or not? That's why I I, I question it. Yeah. I think I would be because mentally I'm already fucking. I guess like you said, been that movie. Mm-hmm. I already kind of like. Fuck it. I guess I'm gonna be riding a bike. I'm gonna be one on one of those crazy ass people with half a fucking foot running the and shit. Yeah. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, but I'm mentally prepared, and I'm like, okay. Like, I thought about that. Like, anything could be taken from you except except your mindset. Like, I'm yeah. a firm believer in that shit, yeah. dog. Help like, us wealth. Your freedom. You know? Yeah. They could lock you up in jail. Yeah. Wrongly accused, or maybe you did do some shit. Maybe you fucked up. Whatever. Like, they could take away your freedom. Right. Yeah. yeah. What are Being you gonna at do? The wrong place, wrong time. Being at the wrong place. What are you gonna do? When well, you're in a fucking cell. Yeah. Or even false allegations against you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The whole world could be against you. It's like, I don't know. That's yeah. why to me, that mindset is everything. Yeah, I was listening to this podcast. It's funny you kind of said what you said right now because it kind of ties in with the little story that I heard was that uh, this guy called in and he's like, hey, man, like I, I got discharged from the military and I wanted to be uh, a pilot. He goes, and I got I got discharged because they did a drug test. And you know what I mean? Like, I, I whatever i don't know what drug right but now that was his dream now he was crushed because now he can't be a pilot for the military and whatnot but he can still be a pilot right he can still be a pilot for just you know uh private 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 planes or something right so he's like putting himself in a grave due to that when a person in jail could have wished that that was his mistake you know what i mean yeah like that's such a small mistake compared to other people's mistakes like that, like that person in jail would probably wish they had like got discharged from the military because of that reason versus doing whatever crime that he did and now he's locked up for you know years to come yeah or a person losing a leg they they actually use that analogy too though it's like, crazy a, a person losing a leg or a right. limb or arm you know what i mean like you wish you would have not made that mistake and still have your leg versus just being discharged for you know yeah. maybe marijuana from the military because like, like somebody could be like bitching about their whole fucking car being fucked yeah They're, my car don't work it's a piece of shit it's always breaking down all this shit meanwhile somebody else is on the fucking bike like damn i wish i had a fucking car i could work on right there's somebody walking god damn it like they're not appreciating the bike yeah and then somebody else is walking like fuck man these fucking dudes students buy me on the bike every day i wish i had a fucking bike mm-hmm. you know what i mean and then the person walking somebody else is in a fucking wheelchair willing themselves like god mm-hmm. damn i wish i had some fucking feet like it's all you know what yeah, I'm saying. Somebody yeah. always has it harder than you. Yeah. Know? Not to like, what is it like? Dismiss it. Yeah. Not to yeah. dismiss it, but yeah, that is true. If you take a step back and yeah. not get wallowed into the whatever's going on in your situation, there is always somebody else that and has. And one it thing I like to think, like, we fucking live in like the U.S. dog. Like we got it fucking made. Yeah. I don't give a fuck who the fuck lives here, dog. Like yeah. for the most part, we got it fucking made. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Compared yeah. to another fucking country. Like you're fucking bitching about what? Like we got fucking like it sounds stupid, but like yeah, we got we got running water, we got electricity. Yeah, yeah. You got a fucking car, you got an address, like you got somewhere you could live. You don't got crazy ass animals living in your fucking backyard. You know what I'm saying, dog? Yeah. Like we got laws that protect you, free freedom of speech. You could tell anybody to fuck you and they can't yeah. do nothing yeah, about it. Much, like, yeah. But people tend to make shit like emotional all the time. Well, it's because it's like everybody deals with that shit everywhere. Yeah. It's just, it's just mind-boggling to me. Like, dude, we live in the fucking U.S. Like, you're not happy with your job? Go get another one. You're not happy with your partner? Go get a fucking other one. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck to tell you. Yeah, if you're not, life's too fucking short to yeah. be fucking, like, Leave your partner at the dealership. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you don't like where you live, like, you can move. You're not oh, a tree. Yeah. Hey, you don't like you know your job? I mean? <laughs> look for another one. You're not happy at your job? Go look You're not happy with your body? You're not happy with what you like, what you see in the mirror? Do something about it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, dog? I feel like people just fucking... Uh, they don't want to. They want to be confident, but they don't want to work on the shit. Yeah. They don't want to build it. I think a lot of people are like other people to feel sorry for them. Oh, it's a pity party. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. And then they bring out that little mini violin. They they just sing themselves a sad song. You know what I mean? Like, so it's a pity parade, dog. It's, yeah. it's it's uh like what do they say? Back in the days, it was who overcame the biggest challenges. Yeah. Now it's 
who has the biggest fucking challenge. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. Like, oh well, this is this who person had it left worst. Oh uh, well, the fucking these bills are stacked up. Like this mm. is like, what are you doing about it? Exactly. You're just telling me about it just like so I feel bad for you or what the fuck? Right. It's crazy, dude. Everybody has a fucking victim mentality. <laughs> but you know what? As fucked up as it is, too, I feel like. God damn, hope those phones don't fall. Shit, hold on. Hey, we're good. Fall. Um, as fucked up as it sounds, that just makes like the gap between the average and the savage that much fucking easier. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, yeah. dog? The softer people get, and the the more they bitch about shit, and the more you seek those challenges, the more you fucking like go after shit, the more you learn, the more you're willing to open minded to learn all that shit is the more you're going to stand out against everybody else. Yeah. You know? I see it too like a video game. Remember Super Mario? Yeah. Every time you pass a level, it got harder. But you're leveling up. And every, you know, every next level, every stage is harder to be, yeah. harder to be, harder to be. So it's just the same thing with life. You know what I mean? So the more challenges that you overcome, the better that you get, the more that you play, you're just going to, you know I mean, you're going to come out on top winning. So... Yeah, and, and about that too, I was talking to somebody and um, they were telling me that they've been eating right, they've been trying to stop drinking, they've been trying to like get their get their body in shape because they're they're pretty big, which is good, you know. And then they're like, Yeah, man, and I know it's like he was saying that it was kind of like lonely. Like, yeah, man, it's kind of like I, I don't I'm not hanging out with anybody because I don't want to be around it. And it's kind of like, yeah, I know yeah. it's like everybody I know is drinks. So he's like, yeah, it's kind of lonely. So I told him, I was like, dude, trust me, I've been there. I understand it. Like, it is. And as fucked up as it sounds, like, some people you just got to step away from. Some people you realize, I don't have nothing in common with you but fucking drinking. Yeah. That's the only thing we do in common. You know? And sometimes you got to take a step back and then revisit that friendship or that relationship with your family or whatever, whoever it fucking may be. Yeah. And then I told him, too, I said, anytime you level up, there's, there's like, gaps in between. Where it is going to be lonely until you find your community, your group, people like-minded like you. I, I feel like I had a, like, like especially with the working out, too. Working out, you, you know what I mean? Reading. Yeah. People who are like, that's fucking weird. Until you hang around fucking readers. Go around the library or go to, go to, uh, yeah, to a library or, like, YouTube. You start looking at people. Okay, you see certain comments. Like, they okay, they're fucking reading the same shit. You surround yourself with that community. Yeah. So it is lonely until you reach that level. The same with people like what entrepreneurs, yeah. people starting the business. I, I think it's lonely because you're in the wrong circle. But I think it's it's the inevitable. Like, but it's yeah. like sometimes no, it's, you'll until, have to be until, lonely to until get you there. get to that circle. You're yeah. going to be. Yeah. Like that's just you'll part have of to it. To be there. That's you part can't, of like, it. Like just skip that part sometimes. You can't. Sometimes you can't you have fucking. To go it. Yeah, you can't fucking hopscotch and jump over there. Like yeah. you have to cross through the fucking desert and shit. Lonely. So basically, if if you're feeling lonely, it means you're going through growth. Not all the time, but if you're going through growth, if, you're going to feel lonely. Yeah. yeah. I think. Okay. I just, if you're doing yeah. positive, like, changes and trying to, you know what I mean? Yeah. Make different moves in your life for a better situation. Yeah. And yeah, it may cause loneliness, but like he said, I, I agree. I think, like, sometimes you can't skip that. You have to go well, through that think, in order to I get there. I think you have to go through it, like. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Part. You can't skip it. You have to go oh, yeah. through it. That's what I said. My bad. Do you think, because uh, you've been sober how long now? Shh. Two years? Wow. And you've been sober how long? Over a year? A little bit over, a little a bit year, over a year. Two years. I've been six months. So do you feel like, since you got the most time, you feel like that's boosted your confidence? Like not drinking, not smoking? Yeah. I feel like when I first started, it would be like I didn't want to be around people drinking and mm -hmm. smoking. Because mm -hmm. I'd be like, fuck. I already knew how I like fell back into that, either peer pressure or just my own, like being tempted by it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'd be like, fuck. So I'd be like, I would, I would not have the confidence to go around those people or, yeah, want to be around them. I'd be like, yeah, I got to step back and shit. Like, it's not even, that. I just don't want to go because I know what I'm liable to, to, yeah. to do. And then little by little, you know what I mean? I think as I started, like, part of my mindset, you know, my, my willpower, then fuck yeah, I got the confidence, dog. Yeah. I got the confidence where, like, and then little by little, I'll be around them. Mm -hmm. Now, I fucking, like I said, I'll fucking buy somebody for their birthday. If I know they're drinking, like, hey, what do you want for your birthday? Give me a fucking six-pack. All right, fuck it. I'll buy you a six-pack. That's what you want. I'm not against alcohol and shit. Yeah. And I also think, like, as, uh, at least for me, I feel like setting a date for, like, a next event, like, for example, our next run that we're doing, due to that, bro, like, 
it, it's keeping me on track to stay sober. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I'm like, I can't go back and do do that. I can't like go smoking because in my lungs, you know what I mean? Like I got to get ready for this 10K. You know what I mean? So it's like, oh, if you have like a go in mind or like a date, a due time, and it's like, I think it prevents you from falling into that trap. Fuck yeah. You know what I mean? So. When, I, when I first saw, uh, what I do, I'm fucking crazy, dog. It's, it's some, some of the shit I think is crazy. Like when I'm trying to lose weight or when I'm trying to work out and get in shape, in my head, I'm like a fucking boxer or UFC fighter. And I got to fight within, like you said, I set a date. I set my own date for no reason, like six months. Yeah. I want to lose X amount or a year. Mm-hmm. I want to lose X amount. So in my head, I got a fight coming up with the fucking strong, badass motherfucker who has fucking stamina condition. Yeah. And I got to match that shit. So I can't slack off. Yeah. Like this fight, I could, you know, people die in fights, right? I, I, I'm fighting like my life depends on it. Like yeah. I'm a fighter going to make my way, going to go fight. Like I have to be on point with everything. And it's hard and I'm not perfect. I do fuck mm-hmm. up. Mm-hmm. But that's what helps me keep, get back on track. Like, nope, I can't. Like, cause then you go around people and it's just yeah. like, here, just one time. Just eat this one time. Just taste this one time. Right. It's not going to kill you. Live a little. No, that's not, that's not living to me. Yeah. You know, because I know we I mean, we get cravings, right? Yeah, we get cravings, temptations and, and all that stuff. Like, I know it happens to me where I'm like, man, today seems like a like the perfect day to light one up. You know what I mean? Like, uh, but uh, just having that willpower and just 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 taking it one day at a time. Really, yeah. how they teach in, in, in uh, AA classes is one step at a time, one day at a time. You know what I mean? Like uh, and. Yeah, man. And another thing that I got good from those AA classes was like we were talking about like somebody else's problems and their stories. Like it opens up doors for you to let you know that like you're not that much in the hole. You know I mean, yeah. your problems are a little smaller than <laughs> what a lot of people are dealing with. When you out hear there. somebody else's. Yeah. And I think about that too, dog. Like, well, my dad, when he was in the hospital. Yeah. I remember that feeling like with him going to the emergency, well, him uh, in the hospital getting the surgery and us waiting at mm-hmm. the hospital, not knowing, like, just the fucking, the, the, what is it? The anxiety, the tension, the energy, like, just the feeling in your stomach, like, this is taking too long and shit. That was fucked up. Or when I actually had to carry his casket, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Or yeah. other people's, my grandpa's, my, my cousin trucker and shit, like, those are fucked up days horrible right like you're burying somebody you're actually carrying them putting them in the hole like that shit fucking sucks yeah so i think like man you know i'm not in fucking jail i'm not the fucking hospital i'm not at the fucking cemetery burying somebody it's it's not that fucking bad Mm. like whatever it is i gotta like put that into perspective so i try to remember my i guess my lowest or like hard times yeah you've seen bad you felt bad. yeah bro yeah so i i I do think about that shit sometimes yeah like yeah I, i think that's that's Good way to put it, man. Because yeah. like, if you've gone through it already, like nothing else can knock you down. Yeah. Because it, you probably already went through your lowest. I mean, so well, I don't know. Because I, I do think like no matter what, as fucked up as it sounds, I think your lowest is always going to be ahead of you. Mm. Like it's like as 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 my mom's older one, older than all of us, and she's probably been through the most shit, right? She's lived the most years, been through the most shit, uh, a lot of a lot of health issues, right? Mm-hmm. But I feel like her hardest time is still ahead of her. Sure, he's like, what the fuck? I know she took care of her. Don't be on me. I think it is though. Speaking that, that into that existence, me, no, I God, think it dang. is honestly. Yeah. Like, you probably thought, let's say, you thought cancer was like super hard, right? I'm yeah. not not that he thought, but yeah. it was. Well, not that it wasn't. Yeah. Yeah, like you thought, like fuck, this is the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my yeah. life. Mm-hmm. And then you got what lupus yeah and it's like well what the fuck yeah. this is a whole new fucking thing yeah that was hard too. and that that there's no cure for there's no you just gotta figure out how to live with it you gotta figure out how to manage it yeah then what fast forward years later your diet yeah but they take away red meat mm-hmm. so it got even harder and then what they took away major carbs major curbs and now what yep now sodium now we're at sodium so it's like you always she have has to high blood pressure now yeah uh-huh. So, so mm-hmm. you That's always got to prepare for yourself for the next. It's always gonna get like life yeah. is always gonna get yeah. harder, dog. Yeah. yeah. No yeah. matter yeah. what. Think about yeah, when you were a kid. True. Like shit's only easier. Yeah. 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 You're yeah. only gonna get more fucking bills. You're only you're only gonna lose more people. Yeah. yeah. The people we love, the people like my mom, like 
my grandma or my uncle, my whoever it is, like, there's only going to be people you're only going to lose. Like, that day is going to come eventually, That's, sooner or later. There's no avoiding it. That's part of life. Yeah. You know, it comes in seasons and shit. And you got to be ready for it. And mm -hmm. I feel like the worst is always ahead of you, dog. I mean, the good... I don't think... It, not I, in I don't a negative way, like, tap out on the worst. Yeah, not in a bad way, because... You know what I mean? Because on the flip side, the best times of your life, they're ahead of you, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So on that flip side, like, it's not all just, like, everything's fucked. I don't want people to be thinking it's all mm -hmm. depressing and shit. No, no yeah. I think it's like that saying, uh, prepare for the worst, but hope for the best. Yeah. Type of thing, like, like you're saying, your, your worst day is ahead of you, or it's still ahead of you. Yeah, you got to be on you. That's, oh, why I'm not, that's why I'm not moving and shit. See, that, that could have oh, been my okay. worst day, but I ain't letting that shit get to me. <laughs> Savage yeah. out here. Nah, it's, it's, With the bees. Yeah, it's one of those things where, like, nah, I, I got bit once. That's why I know to fucking run and shit. So, nah, it's like you uh, you prepare yourself for the wor like your worst your worst day. Like, shit, today, today this is a bad day and shit, but this might not be my worst day, so I'm not, I can't let this day be the fucking end of me. Yeah. yeah, you yeah. Just, hopefully, you know, it's, it is the fucking worst day, and there's after that, there's no worse days than this. But if, yeah. if it's not, then they say you got to be ready for it. Yeah. So, like I said, you got to prepare for the worst days, but you got to hope for that for the best, you know? Yeah. I mean, that's as very bad, much as, bad as, it, as bad as it is, the sun's still going to come up tomorrow, dog. Mm -hmm. The birds still going to be chirping. Birds are still going to chirp. Traffic's it is, still homie. gonna keep going. Yeah. Like the traffic still keeps moving. Yeah, like, like no matter how fucked up it is for you. Yeah, that's true. Like life is gonna keep going on, whether you're fucking sad, depressed in the fucking room all day, zero yeah. confidence, scared to talk to fucking girls, whatever it may be. Life is gonna keep going, well, whatever dog. Whatever you're doing yeah. within life. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So you better hop the fuck on and get with it. You yeah. better hurry up and fucking whatever. Yeah. If you if you're sick and you you know what I mean, fucking make the best out the time you have. Yeah. That's what I I, I would do. Try to do. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of sucking, letting it suck you into it. And not only that, but then I see it too. Like, like after I, my pops passed away, I felt like I was in a bad mindset. Mindset. I was like, "Fuck everybody, fuck the world," and I don't give a shit if I'm here. Whatever it may be, right? I was in a bad, bad mind mind frame. But then I started thinking, like, "Fuck, man, I don't know how long my mom's gonna be here. I don't know how long my grandma, my grandpa's gonna be here. Like, it sucks. I lost my dad." But who knows how much time I have with them I'm losing as well. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm like dwelling on this, you know what I mean? When it's like, I have time with other people I still need to appreciate. Yeah. And every day, is, you got to appreciate it because, you know, any day could be... Any could day, be the day, It could be the day, I mean, any of us are gone, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, like, like you're saying, like, instead of dwelling yourself and isolating yourself in a room... Yeah, I mean, it's not healthy. Having a pit yeah. party. Yeah. So yeah, enjoy enjoy the people you're you know with, the people you love, the yeah. people who are around. Yeah. And I know it's hard. A lot of people are like, you don't understand. You never lost X person. You never lost a partner. You never lost a kid. You never lost whatever whatever it may be. And that's probably that's valid. You know what I'm saying? But somebody has, and they keep going through it. Like you're not the only one. It's gonna happen to. Mm -hmm. Like it's gonna happen to a lot of people. Yeah. And I'm not gonna understand you. But what is you fucking sitting there telling me? I don't understand you doing for you. Yeah. You know or what I mean? You're sitting there all depressed. Where's that getting? What good is coming like out of that? You're taking away from all the other people around you. You're taking yeah. away from your kids. You're taking away from your parents. You're taking away from your family. Yeah. People who might need your help. People who could have, like, are in a similar situation. Maybe, like you said, you got in a, a, a cancer support group or no? Oh, yeah. Lupus, I'm in, right? I'm in both. Both. Yeah. Cancer and lupus. My support group. Maybe yeah. some of those days wouldn't see the worst day if, if you would have never joined. Oh, yeah. If you stayed yeah. there sad. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, because there's times where we have lifted each other up on either. You know what I mean? They've had a down day and they're stuck. And then just randomly, you know what I mean? I'll post something or I'll say something in the group. And then they'll private message me like, damn, like I really needed that. Mm. Like, you don't even know. I've been struggling these last few days. Like, and I'm like, oh, damn, how come you to reach out to me? Like, but they were too busy sucked into it. You know what I mean? Because I've been there. Yeah. And I'll be like, yeah, you know, definitely. I know how you feel. But reach out to me. Like, no, we can't. We we have to be accountable to each other. Like, pick each other up. We can't stay down. We've been through too much shit to stay down. You know, but yeah. And you know, the beautiful thing, too, is like, we're building a support group. You know what I mean? Like, we're building a community. We're building, a, you know, if any, any of our viewers need help, you know, I mean, guidance on, you know, on something they can maybe, you know, reach out to us. For sure. Uh, mm -hmm. at, the, at the same time, you know what I mean? We can reach out to them, you know what I mean? As we keep growing. And because um, that's, at the end of the day, it's like, who's there to, like, to support you? I mean, like, 
and I'm not saying like give you a dollar, you know, what I mean, pay your bills and stuff, but I'm saying like, uh, who can you lean on? Who can you who can you get advice from? You know, what I mean, who can uh, maybe gear you into the right direction or say that one word or and, two? And to I was you? even thinking like how she was saying, yeah. like what you're saying is like uh, confidence. Yeah. Like sometimes other people got confidence in you, you don't have in yourself, yeah. and they could give you confidence. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where it's like they could tell you about your business. They could be like. Um, now you got this shit. Keep going. Where you're like, fuck. I was about to throw in the towel and shit. Right. But you know what? Fuck it, man. Robert, right? Maybe I should fucking go one more time. Or something. Yeah. With anything, right? Yeah. Or when somebody feels like quitting, if they if they're sick. Yeah. They could they could probably feel like it's ain't worth it. They don't know, but then somebody could well, tell you some words, and it's like they yeah. they give you confidence. They boost you up. They juice you up. Yeah. And that's why what our, our body. Let's say your body's like a battery, and the more you charge yourself, the more you take care of yourself, the better your battery health is. The more you're gonna be able to jump somebody else. Yeah. Because sometimes, say she's on 20% running on red and shit. You know what I mean? Oh, she needs a fucking charge. Oh, and, somebody better get the jumper cables. Call back up. Let's say if I'm fucking like in a good mindset, I've been reading, well, I've been taking care of myself, cables. I'm huh. zen, whatever piece. And I and she's down on my like, hey, what's up? Mm-hmm. Now, fuck that. We got to keep going and shit. Like, whatever yeah. it is, I need you to I, I need you to keep going and shit. Like, come on, this this ain't working. Open the fucking blinds, open the fucking doors, and let's go. Yeah. And vice versa. She could do for, the same for me. Yeah. yeah. I, that's why I think it's always important to charge your own fucking battery to make sure your battery is fully fucking charged cause, to jump other people, dog. Yeah. 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 You know, that's what we're, like you said, that's what we're trying to do with the podcast exactly. too, yeah. virtually and shit. Right. But yeah. Yeah. Well, Who's even people? throughout the day, because you can run into somebody in the store, a total stranger. Yeah. You can run into the... To- I've, I've had that happen. I had that happen at Big Lots one time. I was with Savannah. And somebody was... Some lady was just having a bad day. She was in an abusive relationship. She just lost her son. And I'm and in the whole Big Lots that happened. I found out all that in the Big Lots. And, and it was all because she came up to me and told me... I had like a sunflower blouse on that had a saying of sunflower. And she was like, oh, my God, your shirt is so your shirt is so nice. Where did you get it at? And that's how we talked. And I'm like, oh, thank you. She's like, do you live around here? And then from there, you know me. <laughs> from there, we just started talking. Next thing you know, I found out she gets beat. Her, her, her son just died. She just had to bury her son. Damn. Yeah. And it was crazy, though, because we ended up exchanging numbers. And I was just like, I felt like, you know what? If you ever need somebody to talk to, like, vet, let it out. You need somebody to pick you up. Like, here's my number. If you don't mind, like. Here's my number. Reach out to me. And we did for a, a you know a while. We she did. She would text. We would just text. But it was crazy because like if I was having a bad day and all and stuck in my stuff, like I probably wouldn't have been able to pick her up. You know what I mean? Or remind her yeah. of what life was about. She probably drag each other down if you weren't yeah. both in the you know one of you was in a better mindset. Yeah. I think most people want to talk. Most people want to uh, talk about their their struggles and their life. You know what I mean? And, you know, most of oh, us, no. they want, we like oh. to talk about ourselves, right? They oh, say people, 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 people like to talk I about themselves. No, I mean, people do, but at the same token, I think you need to be careful because then people sometimes like to suck you in it. They like to suck you into that, mm. that negativity, whatever they're yeah. going through. Like they, they want to drag like somebody into their little. I don't think it's they want to. pity. Yeah. I know people like that. Maybe, but I mean, it's up to you to know how. Oh not yeah. To get dragged into but that's it, why I'm saying you got to be careful though, as one like, you got to stay ready. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. In listening to somebody vent, because sometimes you can get sucked into all that. And then before you know it, you're like, damn, well, I felt I felt good before this phone conversation. I feel shitty. But like oh that God. lady, but like the lady at Big Lots, when she gave you, she gave you, you know what I mean, her rundown of yeah. everything that happened, but you guys were still cool and you guys got into oh, yeah, each yeah, other's yeah. number. Yeah. The sun got a little bright, huh? Yeah, yeah. it's been bright right here. <laughs> so that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, you you opened up the book for her. You gave her the confidence yeah. to be able to talk to you. She don't look as dark you know anymore. I mean? If it would have been maybe somebody else, she probably wouldn't have spilled the beans and said that whole story. Yeah. You know what I mean? But she felt yeah. She felt the sunshine. Because even Savannah, the... we got in the car and Savannah's like, did you know her? <laughs> and I'm like, no. She's like, Nana, yeah. you don't know her from nowhere? And I'm like, no. Yeah. She's like, I don't know how you do that, Nana. Yeah. I don't know how you just talk to people you don't know. Yeah. I was like, well, she's the one who came up to me and told me about my blouse. Yeah. So I was like, thank you. And then we just started talking. And well, then Some she started. Got that, that she, she started energy. Though. Yeah, she just started talking, and then next thing you know, she's crying, she and I could, and I couldn't walk away. And I was just like, "Are you okay? Is everything all right? Like, are you okay?" And then I just gave her a hug, and I was like, "Do you need a hug?" And I gave her a hug, and from there, it just rolled out. And she was like, "You know what? I feel like we crossed paths for a reason. Like, thank you very much. You don't even know. Mm-hmm. Like, I had just been struggling lately, and I was just like, damn, like that's crazy. Like, what are the odds of her and I running yeah, into yeah, each other? Yeah. 
That's what I'm saying. Some people are, a lot of people are looking for an uplifter. You know what yeah. I mean? That, that person that can help them get out of the gutters. Because some people want to be in the gutter. You know what I mean? Yeah. And those people, you really can't help. Mm-hmm. Some people try to drag other people to them with that's the gutter. That's, yeah. that's, oh, that's okay. what I'm trying yeah. to say. It makes more sense yeah. that way, though. Yeah, that's oh. what she, but, well, you but yeah. Huh? That's what she was trying to say. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah, that's what I was, you got me, huh? Yeah, that's what I was, that's what I was trying yeah. to say. But yeah, you can't allow that too. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just, they'll steal your energy, your time. Your, I mean, not, leave you dry. Yeah, and some people are good at that. You know what I mean? That's <laughs> you want zero percent with no charger. <laughs> yeah, some people just want attention too. Yeah, it's it's not even that like they're okay where they're at, but they at, just to get some type of attention or validation. They'll go ahead and like, oh my, my world is falling apart. I need your advice, but they don't really actually care about they that. They don't do nothing with it. Yeah, yeah. I like, mean, you look at them, and they're literally stay, still in the same spot year after year. Yeah, so it's like you got, like, as as also as yourself you, and yes. for your own, I guess, <laughs> mental well-being, I guess, or whatever. You got to re- learn how to, like, okay, this person just likes fucking attention. They're just yeah. here because they want you to fucking, oh, it's going to be okay, but you can't be the fucking battery that's... Charging them all the fucking time. You can't be their only. You can't be your battery and their battery. Yeah. Like you have. Okay. Here's. I fucking boosted you up. I did what I could. Well, you're over there even trying to feed them the battery, and that's not even taking. Yeah, and it's like you gotta fucking charge charge them up what you can. And yeah. The fucking, charge ports messed yeah, up. Yeah, and then fucking keep on. Yeah. That's <laughs> no, it. I think like let's say like it is taking it, but it's just like not even using it. Yeah. It's just using it. It's like well, a dead battery. I mean. Yeah. It's taking it, but yeah. let's say like, like in that instance, you're giving them juice. You're giving them some power. You're hyping them up. You're you're being there for them, right? Mm-hmm. But your shit's going down, mm-hmm. and by the time you get home to your family, you don't have enough to give them because you gave it to these other fucking people yeah. who are just fucking They're not using it. And you know it's more, like I said, it's more of an attention, yeah. and and because like he said, people like talking about themselves. Yeah, and I some people it's because they like the attention. Yeah, they like someone being. I don't know, their fucking mom or their I mean, it's in dad. our nature to want some type of attention. And yeah, and it's like, they and can't get it. Yeah, they can't get it through other means. So what's the easiest way for you to get attention? Through sympathy. People sympathize you. Oh, mm-hmm. my God, you're going through this. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, are, everything's going to be okay. And, and it's like, okay, like, you got to, some people just fucking roll like that. That's, that's who they are. Yeah. And you got to just Well, you yourself. can't help somebody who don't want to help themselves. Yeah, like I said, like I said, some people don't, or they just fucking, they're just there, they're just empty shells. What is it? And what is it? Uh, NPC and shit. <laughs> just rolling through life, uh, a non-playable character, oh, like in the video games, but there's like you're the main character. Okay, I don't feel bad. This. Yeah. I was like, is it interesting? I don't know. What yeah, that is. yeah, yeah. IRL, IRL, IRL. IRL. NPC. Yeah. Get, you know get, get deal with the terms. Come on, yeah. go with the times. You gotta be progressive. Yeah, you gotta be oh. progressive. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I don't know. What that yeah, is basically, either. basically, it's just what it means. They're just, they're not the main character, and they're just here on the side as just like in a movie. They're fucking just a person in the background. Yeah. Yeah, they're just there. Bring it down to my language. Yeah. VHS and shit. VHS. Yeah. slang, old school. <laughs> but yeah, so, so I think it's like you got to realize too when what people want just attention and, and they're not really trying to like yeah. uplift themselves, you know? Um, and yeah, they're going to talk about themselves but also don't listen too much to them, I guess, because then they're, like you said, they're going to bring your ass down. Yeah. Like, oh shit, oh, well hey, so and so is going, damn, they're getting beat, fuck. Damn, it's crazy they're getting beat and you go home talking, thinking about them getting beat but that person actually likes getting beat. That energy just... That, yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, they didn't do anything for the past 10 fucking years about it. Yeah. It, it sounds fucked up, but well, it's whatever true. whatever it is. It could be somebody cheating, it just sounds beating, funny or... Yeah. 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 It's fucked up. You're laughing. Someone's, well, that's someone's business. Well, because they like it. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. No, they like it. Like you like just some, said they yeah, like it. Yeah, some people... That's funny. Yeah, some people don't fucking, like... Yeah, they just want that attention. Like, they want something to but bitch he, and complain but, about. But, but they love me. But the, yeah, but yeah, yeah and again, they asked me for ten years. He's gonna change one day. His hands gonna get tired one day, and it's like nah, like he's gonna get caught up time. Yeah, right yeah. for some shit. Yeah, yeah. It's, and it's like nah. So I you mean, gotta be willing to change. Yeah, you gotta be willing to change. And like I said, if you want, if you, people are yeah. gonna hear you out, don't just don't waste their fucking time too. Like yeah, you know, like if, hearing the same fucking story and shit, dog. Yeah, like hey, this is going on in my life. What do I do? And then act on that shit. Especially if you find someone like Sunshine over here that's gonna stop by and talk to you. I fucking big lots because I probably wouldn't. I'll be you sure as hell wouldn't? I don't. I don't. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> I might. It depends. It depends. It depends. Who it is. Yeah, it depends yeah. who it is. How I feel, but like I said, Sherry, you're more of a anybody type, yeah, type I just, of person. Yeah, I'm social. Yeah, so it's like you got to learn that if someone's willing to stop to talk to you and try to uplift you, act on that. Act on their advice. Act on their, you know, yeah, on um, their help. You know, don't just fucking bitch and moan and not do anything about it. Just just because you want attention or like take advantage of the opportunity that yeah. a person like that you know what i mean is willing to give you their time and energy for you know momentarily yeah not just because you're fucking lonely like you're the guy that you fucking said that it was lonely whoa, whoa 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 or whoever it was that they're lonely and shit is like okay you're lonely but 
sometimes you gotta be fucking alone yeah, and shit. Yeah, you gotta yeah. go through that shit by yourself, you know? Uh, Sherry can come and give you advice for 30, 40 minutes, but you're gonna be alone for the next, you know, 23 hours. She's just gonna be alone when I walk away. Yeah, you're gonna have to learn how to act on that shit yeah. on your own. Like, well, I think I told them, hey, whenever you wanna hang out, I'm fucking down and shit, like different type of lifestyle, do different shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like but, different, yeah, different yeah. activities. And yeah, shit. and it's like, it's, and sometimes that's, that's you're gonna have to go through that shit by yourself, and it's it's okay to be alone. It's okay to be lonely. It's okay to fucking. Yeah, yeah you have to be your own best friend when you're by yourself. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, you Sherry can give you all the pep talk, but you gotta fucking pep talk yourself all the way up at the end of the day because yeah. Sherry was only there 30 minutes you know not the full 24 hours I got yeah. big lots yeah so you, <laughs> big lot closes at 7 and shit. Close. I'm not on the clock yeah so that's I don't know a, that's, that's a, how I see it yeah yeah no you're right you're right like sometimes you gotta go through that loneliness and sometimes some people don't even need to go through the loneliness sometimes like you were saying it's about changing your circle of people for a minute you know what I mean? Yeah. But I think so that sometimes, little... sometimes you. But sometimes some people don't need to. It's not always the yeah. case. I think sometimes they do just need to change their circle of. You know what I mean? Like, what do you? How do you say it? Like the same mind, like people. Like, like minded. Yeah. Like minded. There you go. The like same like minded people. Yes you gotta no. look for something like that. Because yeah. if you're going with some party animal and you're not a party animal, like how's that even? Gonna I work? think it depends how how much you want to change. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. At what yeah. level you want to change? You want to be a completely different fucking person? You gotta change completely everybody around you. But I, sooner or later. Yeah. Yeah. No, I guess. But I I just think you have to learn how to be alone sometimes. Because. Yeah. Like like you said, oh, they don't have to switch over and they don't have to be by themselves. You sound that's like you suckers. sound like someone that needs to have someone with you. No, I'm not like I'm you, saying like, that there are people that don't have to go through being alone. That's not the case for everybody is what I'm saying. Very rare, but seldomly at some point as, as, in life, you're going to have to be by yourself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. At yeah. some point, you, and you have to like be okay with it and yeah. learn to be okay with it. Even if it's momentarily, I, I think yeah. it's, it's yeah. good and I okay. think it's healthy I oh, know yeah. because uh, that's when you gain clarity of like where, where you want to go, like what path you yeah, want to take. Yeah, you refuel. You know I mean? Yeah. Reevaluate. Yeah. So I think it's it's important. You know what I mean? Even even if it's momentarily for an hour or a day, you know what I mean, or a week. But it's like it's like your little vacation, your little getaway with yourself. You know what I mean, to uh self explore your thoughts and your feelings and, and yeah. where you want to redirect yourself, you know what I mean? Because we can always redirect ourselves. Yeah, like I said, as a, as a as people, as a society or whatever, we're not really uh we get the notion that we shouldn't be alone. Like we, oh, we need to be part of a, a group, or we need to be part of this, and we need to be part of so, somewhere, somewhere that like communicate with. Yeah, somewhere. we're all seeking for a community. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's like sometimes you you just gotta fucking do it by yourself, man. Yeah. That, that's I think that's where you gain more confidence too. Yeah, and that yeah, and that, I mean personally, me, that's how I've always seen it. Like some, you're not always gonna find the group that's you. That's you. Like yeah, even if you're in a group of fucking runners, you might still be the fucking outcast because you fucking run. 30 miles instead of the 10. Yeah. And, you you know, whatever, you might or still... The five instead of the 10. Yeah, whatever, vice versa. Yeah. And it's sometimes it, they're a group of runners. You know, it's still a group of runners, but you're just not the same. So yeah. sometimes you... So you got to get it with a new group of runners. You're going to be by yourself. Yeah. You just got to run alone. Yeah, you got to run by yourself. Yeah, yeah, that's... I mean, yeah. You got to what? You run, gotta alone. run alone. Yeah. You're saying you got to yeah, run alone. Yeah, I mean, when you train, what do you, how, who are you running with? Alone? Your shadow. You're a shadow alone. You're alone. And and that's when, you, like I said, you think you're going to fucking do this or do that or... Whatever is an exact. I just that's the way I see it. Sometimes, or that's how at least I, I learned that you have to be by yourself sometimes. Well, you know how they say too. Like if you're the best one in the group, you're in the wrong group. Oh, so you're the smartest one in the room, you're in the wrong room. Right. So oh, yeah. like if you're the best runner in the group that you're in, you're in the wrong group, right? So yeah. that's why because there's no challenge. Uh, there. Right. So then you level up, and then I mean obviously, it, it's good and all if you're if you're trying to encourage somebody motivate else. Motivate them. Yeah. yeah, to motivate because you're 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 being of service. You know what I mean. But as far as you growing and getting to the next level, you got to be the one, like either the dumbest one in the room or the slowest one in the room. You know, speaking of running or, or just being smart. But uh, but yeah, man, uh, I was looking at Lupe's hat, and I was just thinking of the hat that I got on. I think we're giving up like the little fishing vibes here. Huh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We're going to Lake next to this podcast. You, uh, the, <laughs> next podcast should, to Lake. Should we do a little fishing podcast, huh. man? That should be dope. You guys comment. Let us know. We should have did that today, actually. During the week? Because we're off tomorrow. We should have did that today. Because we're, all, we're off tomorrow. There you tomorrow. go. We got next year. Next nah. 4th of July. <laughs> 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 now we know for next 4th of July. There you go. Nah, but we'll, yeah. yeah that'd be, be on a cool. Thursday. It'll you know cool. I mean? No, Friday. It'll be on Friday, huh, next year. What? Huh? Will it? Well, because it's on a Thursday this oh, year. Oh yeah. Oh no, yeah, not next year. We're not gonna wait till next year. Don't be listening <laughs> to his ass. Yeah, I was just <laughs> trying to take all year ago. Fuck this shit. We gotta do shit now. We gotta yeah, do shit yeah, next yeah. week. Not just play. 
But yeah, maybe fucking uh, now we got four mics, all of us fucking hop on and shit, do different yeah. shit, go different places. Yeah. Explore, explore around. Yeah. We need to do a fish. It will go on a Saturday when we all can get to, or whoever can make it. Yeah. Plan it on a Saturday. Go. We can grill fish. We should do it. Well, at, I don't fish, but I'll clean your guys' fish. We should do it. We should do it at Lake Gregory's to go, like you know, I mean, check out the how the lake looks because I've been wanting to go over there mm. to see how the how the lake looks. Oh, the fucking the, that's the one we're gonna run. Yeah. Oh. Maybe even get a run in while we're there. You know what I mean? A little yeah. test run. I'm down. That'd be good. But yeah, guys, so that's... Huh? I'm like, was that it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I wasn't sure. I'm like, well, no podcast. I'm going to keep going. That was part of it, dog. You fucked it up. You fucked up the outro. Go ahead. No, no, no. I was just asking. Sign off. Not, no, Sign I off. we're going to keep Go going. Ahead. I was on you. Sign off. Sign, Sign off. Man. What, what, how are we in this? Not with this. confidence. I know. I don't, uh, you're the one that ends it all the time. You're not starting well, with adapt confidence. To, right adapt now. to the fucking situation. Ah, yeah, damn. All right, guys. Well, today we talked about confidence, how to boost your confidence. Uh, it's okay to be by yourself, be lonely sometimes. Uh, what else did we talk Remember, tone matters and shit. Yeah, what else did we talk about? I don't know what else we talked about. Oh. We talked about a lot of stuff, and we're going to go, you know, do this podcast in the lake. So, with that being said, uh, we want to hear something that you want us to talk about, or, you know, any topics or something. Just. Hit up Robert or Sherry hit up or any one Martin. Of us. Yeah, hit up any one of us. Let us know. Or Lupe. Hit him up too. Hit him up, guys. Hit him up too. That's he's a favorite not, response, but yeah. Excluded. Yeah, he does. Yeah, actually. so that's why, you know, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. He just leaves you. You know what, Sherry? <laughs> that's all. Finish that's what he does. This is a better outro. Yeah, outro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sherry, Sherry, finish it. Better than what we have <laughs> planned. Today. Yeah. Finish it, Sherry. Go ahead. Oh, so. Stay focused, everybody. Stay focused and keep check on who your circle of people are. Yeah. Keep check on who your circle of people are, who you're giving your energy to, and who's taking your energy. You know, make sure you stay focused and stay on track and never get com- too comfortable being comfortable. Yeah. And thank you guys for jumping on the Savage Over Average podcast. Yeah. Don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button, you guys. Hit the like button. Shoot in some comments for us. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Let us know what you guys think. And uh, let us know, you know what I mean? If there's anything else you guys want to hear about or, you know what I mean, where you guys w- want to see us at. And, uh, yeah, you know I mean, and thank you guys. And we've been more comments lately, huh? That's why he does the outro. Just I don't know. Right? I don't know. Oh. Have we? Yeah, I think so. Maybe. But, I yeah, we appreciate the podcast. comments. I thought he was too, but she just, she, she took it back. She took no, the torch back. Fuck. Well, Robert told it off, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, everybody else. All right, guys, anymore. remember, stay fucking savage. <laughs> average is the fucking enemy. Get after it. No fucking excuses. Peace, y'all. Peace out. Savage over yeah. average, baby. We out. Oh, Longest oh, outro ever. Up, but we out. That was funny, though. I'll bit up. We out. Thank you.